presentation on manufacturing analytics, authored by Pavan Nanjundaya, an Oracle ERP expert at KPI Partners. In today's session, we will review the manufacturing analytics product in Oracle BI applications 11.1.1.7.1. Here's a look at the agenda. We will start by reviewing some common business questions that any customer using manufacturing in their organization will have. Then, we will review the Oracle Manufacturing Analytics product by looking at some dashboards and metrics. Before we begin the presentation, let us take a real life example to relate the Manufacturing Analytics product. Let's say we have a manufacturing company where we manufacture different kinds of electronic items. Based on the demand, on a periodic basis, we plan to generate a plan and try to manufacture parts and manage the inventory based on this plan. Now, what are some common business questions that we will have when running our organization? And can the manufacturing analytics product from Oracle help us answer these questions? Note that these can also be generic business questions that any customer who is using manufacturing in their organization may have. Top management in any organization would like to understand if their manufacturing plants are performing efficiently, hence tracking and improving the manufacturing efficiency is a very important requirement. I would always like to optimally utilize my resources and material as this will have a direct impact on productivity. Hence, understanding if I am over or under utilizing my resources and material is a key business question. Most companies would like to understand that their production cost is within the budget. If not, what are the reasons for these variances? Tracking inventory balances, activities, and inventory aging is very useful information to better manage our inventory. Let's review the Oracle Manufacturing Analytics product at a high level. The product comes with five dashboards and 33 dashboard pages. There are 17 subject areas and over 180 reports and 350 metrics. These cover most of the functionality that any manufacturing company may have. Now, let's do a deep dive into the product to understand some of the functionalities in more detail. Let's start with the Manufacturing Executive Dashboard. The Manufacturing Executive Dashboard provides summary level insight into the manufacturing processes. Any of our top management resources can log into this dashboard and get a quick overview of important manufacturing KPIs. This dashboard has the following dashboard pages and covers the following functionalities. The overview provides an overall picture of the manufacturing performance with key performance indicators and drill down into details. Operations tracks the exceptions related to production performance and provides drill down into product and work order level details for root cause analysis. The inventory page provides insight into the total inventory available. It also identifies inventory aging and obsolete inventory exceptions. Demand fulfillment provides summary level analysis of on-time shipments, sales order fill rate, and identifies short-term issues related to fulfilling sales order demand. Some of the important metrics used in this dashboard are production amount. This indicates the actual value of production based on the work order completions. Daily throughput is the average daily quantity produced in the manufacturing plant. Material usage variance quantity is the variance or difference between what was planned material usage and what was actually used. This variance analysis gives clear visibility into usage and accuracy of material usage planning. Now let's take a look at some of the pre-built reports in this dashboard. The performance summary by plant report displays the on-time production percentage, scrap percentage, and first past yield details by plant. As a plant manager, if I wanted to clearly understand the overall efficiency of my manufacturing plant, I would use this report as it clearly indicates my plant performance in terms of what percentage of production ended in scrap or what percentage of production was produced on time. The red flag against the metric also indicates if any immediate action has to be taken to improve performance. Supply and demand analysis gives more clarity to the inventory processes as it highlights the demand, supply, and backlog details by products. You can see in the screenshot that all of my items have a projected shortage quantity. For example, my first product has a total supply of 252,000, but the fulfillment backlog quantity is 790,000. 
Therefore, the projected shortage quantity is 538,000. Any customer who looks at this will get a clear picture of demand and supply status within the organization. What is the key takeaway from this dashboard or why would any organization use this dashboard? As I mentioned earlier in my common business question slide, understanding the efficiency in bottlenecks is an important key performance indicator in any organization. By using reports like performance summary and supply demand analysis, top management can get a clear picture of how their manufacturing organization is performing and if any process changes are required within the organization. Production performance dashboards provide plant managers and supervisors with rich insight into the detailed effectiveness of the production. As a manufacturing supervisor, I would love to use this dashboard as it helps me understand the overall production performance. The following functionality is covered within this dashboard. Production backlog tracks all the open work orders and identifies production backlog that is currently on hold or past due based on scheduled completion dates. Resource and material usage helps customers to understand if the resources and materials in the organization are optimally utilized. It also helps variance analysis. Analyzing the work order aging and cycle times gives a good visibility into open work order processing. Customers can monitor the trend and identify the bottlenecks using this analysis. Tracking production quality is again a very important requirement. Quality of production related to work order completions can also be tracked using the production performance dashboard. Here are some of the key metrics used in this dashboard. Scrap amount is the value of quantity moved to scrap during production. Rework percentage measures the percentage of work orders that were reworked. On time percentage is the percentage of work orders that were completed on or before scheduled completion dates. Now let's take a look at a pre-built report within this dashboard. Analyzing the details of the work order is a common business requirement. The work order details report provides work order details at the operation level and indicates start, completion, scrap, and rework quantities. Many times we have seen business users asking us if they can export the transaction level information to Excel so they can perform more analysis within their Excel file. This report is a good example for this requirement as users can export the work order level and operation level details to Excel for further analysis. Any company would like to optimally utilize their resources so that the overall production efficiency increases. By using reports in the production performance dashboard, customers can not only get visibility into resource and material usage, but also can take steps to improve the overall production efficiency in the organization. The inventory dashboard provides us with rich insight into the inventory levels in the organization. It also helps us to review the capital tied up in inventory and validate if the right levels of inventory are being maintained. As an inventory manager in my organization, I would like to keep a close watch on this dashboard as it helps me understand how the inventory is managed in my organization. The inventory dashboard has the following dashboard pages and covers the following functionality. Exception analysis tracks exceptions like shortage or excess and below safety stock inventory, thus enabling supply chain management to manage exceptions. Tracking inventory balances, activities, and aging is one of the most important tasks in inventory management. This analysis will help customers better manage their slow moving inventory and other inventory movements. Returns analysis provides information on the supplier and customer product returns by plant and product type. Bill of material, or the BOM analysis, helps in analyzing the entire bill of material for a given finished product. Inventory turn measures the number of times the inventory turns over in a one year period. It is also an indicator of how well the products are doing in the market. Inventory on hand quantity is the total quantity of the given product available within the organization. Actual issue quantity, this metric measures the actual quantity of the product that has been issued from the inventory location. Let's take a look at some important reports in the inventory dashboard. Inventory analysts and managers can use the inventory snapshot report to understand the inventory balances in each status by product type and plant location. For example, if I'm trying to understand the available quantity of a particular product type in my Boston manufacturing plant, I can get the details by looking at the first blue bar. Similarly, I can get the other inventory balances by analyzing the other colored bars on the chart. 
The inventory aging report provides an aging summary greater than 40 days. Just like the greater than 40 bucket, we can also configure other inventory aging buckets. The first look at my report tells me that standard panels have been aging for more than 40 days with a high inventory value, and that is the red bar you see along the screen. Once I know that a product has been aging for a long time, I can take necessary steps to better utilize the product. As I had mentioned in my common business requirements slide, tracking the inventory balances, aging, and activities is one of the most common business requirements for any organization. The key takeaway from this dashboard analysis is that organizations can use inventory dashboards to not only get the most of their inventory-related business questions answered, but can also manage their inventory more efficiently. Production cost dashboards provide controllers and cost accountants with rich insight into the production costs and cost variances and helps to track trends in production costs by different cost elements. The production cost dashboard covers the following functionality. The overview provides a high-level view of key costing metrics used in the organization. Variance analysis provides more insight into production cost variances with cost element breakdown. Variance details provides detailed analysis of cost variances by product, resource, material, overhead, and outside processing costs. Plan cost is the plan total cost of the completed assemblies. Actual cost measures the actual cost of the completed assemblies. Cost incurred variance is the difference between actual cost and plan cost. Let's take a look at some of the important pre-built reports in costing. Production cost by top 10 general ledger accounts breaks down the production cost by the general ledger accounts. Users can use this report during reconciliation scenarios as it reconciles the costing data with financial data. This is one report that even the financial business users in my company would use as it breaks down the production cost by general ledger accounts. Cost distribution trend gives a breakdown of the overall production cost by cost elements. This breakdown gives a clear visibility into the different components of costing. Looking at this report, I can see that my organization has been spending a lot of money on resources in July and August, and I can bring it up with my management to understand the reason for this type of spend. As I mentioned in my common business requirements slide, tracking the production costs is one of the most common business requirements for any organization. By using reports in the production cost dashboard, users can not only get a breakdown of the total production cost by individual cost elements, but can also analyze the costing trends and variances. The plan to produce dashboard provides rich insight into the planning performance of the organization by giving actionable insight on plan summary and demand schedules. As I was mentioning in the earlier slides, if I'm generating periodic plans based on the demand in my organization, I can use the planning dashboard to analyze the details of the generated plans. This dashboard covers the following functionality. Plan attainment helps to monitor the production attainment against a baseline plan. It also helps in identifying the deviations from a configured baseline plan. Plan comparison helps to compare and contrast a given production plan from a configured baseline plan for a given plant. Here are some important metrics. Baseline planned amount is planned value for baseline plans. Produced amount is the total value of production based on standard cost when the plan was baselined. And the plan to produce ratio is the produced quantity by plan quantity. If the ratio is greater than one, it indicates production exceeds the plan. The plan to produce linearity report tracks the weekly trend in plan to production linearity which is planned versus actual production mapped on a linear scale from 0 to 100%. If the overall planned amount for week 5 in my manufacturing plant is 27,000, and the overall produced amount for the same week is 23,000, then the plan to produce linearity for week 5 will be around 90%. Plan comparison compares the top 10 products with change in planned production amounts when compared with the previous quarter. The report that you're seeing on the screen is a mock-up report, but in a live environment. You will see that each product will have a planned quantity, previous quarter planned quantity, and percentage change from the previous quarter. This analysis helps us to compare plans across quarters. Analyzing the plan information and comparing it with other plans gives a visibility into the planning process. Organizations can use the plan to produce dashboard to get more details on their production plans and take necessary steps to improve the planning process. We started off this presentation by asking some common business questions that any organization using manufacturing may have. 
Those questions range from tracking resource and material usage to getting visibility into inventory management and production costing. We have seen that by using Oracle Manufacturing Analytics in BI Applications 11.1.1.7.1, organizations can not only get answers to the most common business questions, but also use the product to improve the manufacturing efficiency within their organization.